You know, I would say my best workouts were before I started taking any. Explain in detail. Other than the pro hormones that I took, and I didn't know what they were. Um, that was when I was in high school, I was 18, but when I was I think 20, 21, 22, around that age, like my back workout would be 150 pull-ups. That'd be my back workout, which, you know, doesn't sound It's a sound great like, base. Yeah, it doesn't sound That's like how much. I would say all teenagers should train. I used to do, um, whatever the hell this is called, where you go clean and jerk. Clean and jerk, oh yeah. I would say if I had like 135, I would put 135 on the bar and do 10 sets of 10. And that would be, you know, an example. I'd do it now if I was able to. Yeah. Um, Sad to say, a little combination injury, a little combination poor flexibility, but. But I was benching 315 for five natural. And you know, if I worked, if I benched three weights for a month, maybe I'd get 315 for eight to 10. That's pretty damn good natural. Right, so it didn't make much of a difference for me, you know? Really? Interesting. Yeah, I have a picture somewhere, but yeah. But my, you were a bit, you, were, you weren't as heavy, were you? No, okay. I, was, I was like 235. Okay. Now I'm like 260, so I don't know. But I was dedicated there. A lot of people, they in the comments, like, you know, you look like this, you look like that. They don't understand. I really don't give a shit. You know, I come in here just to do it and to feel better about myself, whatever. But I'm never, I'm not a bodybuilder. You know, I don't. You're a freak. Right. I'm not either. No. Do you drive a Hellcat like someone that remains? <laughs> he drives a Heaven's Kitten. <laughs> Any way you can get Paul Romo on a Zoom interview with us? Um, I have his number. I can ask him. I doubt he'll remember me. We actually ago. had him as a four horseman for a brief period of time. Yeah. And I see a lot of the wrestling things say it was outrageous. Flair didn't like it. They say, how dare they put him in the horseman? What do they have against him? I don't know. Because he was a jobber for so many years in WWE. But he looked good, and everybody liked him. He was great, and he had... Um, early in his career, I mean early 80s, he was a job over the years. And then uh, the Jim Powers, who were pretty big. They called him Power and Glory, correct? That was later in the oh, career. Okay. Yep, I like him. The way he used to do, um, what's the move, an arm drag? Do you yeah. remember that? Yeah. And he would jump up and... And we'd also do the drop, the knee drop, holding a guy, you know, in fireman's carry position, which... Him and the Barbarian used to do to anybody. They do one, two, three, four in a row. Yeah. That's not easy, hold a 280 pounder and picking him up over and over again. And then he also had, uh, he would do an elbow from the top rope. You remember that? Perfect yes. technique. Perfect technique, I mean. But it's not like going to the Road Warriors doomsday device when they used to close line people off the top rope. And say, right, right. Nobody liked that after them anyway, but. We're gonna do that to you, Jay. <laughs> oh yeah. The doomsday drop. <laughs> if I was a wrestler, I'd be pretty easy to beat. All they gotta do is come out with like a moldy rag. <laughs> I'd be out for a 10 count. <laughs> Or they just come out with that fan that's in Brad's gym. It's just the sight of it. My system will go in overdrive and I'll pass it Because that was from my home. And that has all the dust yeah. still on there, as you can imagine. And I used to lay and sleep with that thing blowing on me all night. Ugh. I think I'm... I think I'm a mold sport because you don't see start feeling sick when you're around me. He's, Rob, you're still producing content. Yeah. Hats off to Rob, YouTube man of the year. They want to nominate you for a Nobel Peace Prize.
I'm gonna nominate Jay Masters for a Nobel Pussy Prize. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> All right, last set, best set. Look at that rump rose to the left. See that, Maniacs? Hanging off the bone. Just like Robzilla's calves looks like her ass. Kind of set out a shout out for a Jay Masters. You have a shout out for a certain Jay Masters right now? Bear of truck <laughs> the Care Bear. I promise you this: next time he's in town, we're gonna videotape it. We're gonna shoot the shit with Jay Masters. <laughs> he's gonna shoot us with his Glock. Yeah. You know they talk about he's gonna come up and cut off the oxygen. Well, that's a typical Jay move. Chicken shit, because he doesn't want to face me. You know, come in and sneak in there. <laughs> Tippy-toe. Tippy-toe master. <laughs> Branson is sneaking in there. Tippy-toe master. <laughs> That's a challenge to you, Jay. Forget about benching 500 pounds again. We want to see you tippy-toe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I gotta go take a you know what. I don't know what. <laughs> like what I'm gonna do after I beat Dale at the Ruby. Piss all over him. What type of shirt? How about a 1.4 design? And we all know what 1.4 is. 1.4 for life, how about that? <laughs> 1.4. One point four life. We Good should life. start a podcast, the One Point Four Life Podcast. We have every guest that's a dose off. Yeah, yeah. Do the podcast and see how you do. Yeah, they have that podcast with the you know what's called Drink Champs. We we'll have one called G Champs. There you go. Drink Champs. How who can who can slug down the most G without passing out? DJ's got experience online. There is a video of him doing it. Yeah. I gotta look it up. I don't know if he raised it, but it was on it. All right, both of us got rep records, Rob. Yeah. That's all. That's a step in the right direction. And I'll give Foxy and Mark all the credit for all, for all these low intensity, high intensity sets. Fakri Mubarak. Who's that? Good businessman. He's a Cuban bodybuilder and personal trainer coach from New York. He was a beast back in the day. Very efficient training method. Two high intensity sets, six to 12 reps. And I agree. And then go out and make money. Be into real estate, flipping houses, supplement companies, you name it. There you go. That's a good, you're good feel, Rob. It's a good, uh, good tension. Uh, so when you're done with a barbell incline, go over here. That's uh, what Dorian did. Because a flat bench for some, you could tear a tip pet tendon. And I have a feeling a couple of bozos may do it that we're competing against. <laughs> So-and-so the bozo. It's all about tension, Maniacs. The weight will come up week, week by week. It'll come up. Hello. When 
Bill says hello to the gals at the gym. They said goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Dale has absolutely no game at all. Absolutely none. But that's all right. Sick of shit. You gotta get your aggression, harness it, and build it up for these two work sets. Nothing else matters but pumping out the reps. Harness that energy. Don't dissipate it like certain master sensation who's masturbating so much in the truck he has no stamina left for the weights and you know what I'm talking about there Jay <laughs> look at that cut horn in that truck blowing loads in the truck Ooh. hell a girl could walk in there and get pregnant oh no she couldn't you, you shoot blanks I'm sorry the blueberry blank shooter. Yeah, the bedroom blank, blank shooter. shooter. Yeah. All right, Jay, Mr. Bench Press Hero. Point barbell. The Boynton Blueberry. <laughs> Take a look, maniacs. Here's how you should train. See that? He's fatigued, but he's not giving up. Yeah. It's all about the fight. Yeah, you can get your shoulder. I noticed. Yeah. I got that amount of height. You got to keep them blowing. I seen Jay recently in that truck. If you don't get on the weights, I'm going to start calling him Ty Load McDump. What's that? They used to call this football player in Pittsburgh Tyrone McGriff because he was a fat fuck. They used to call him Ty Load McDump. So-and-so's taking a week off. Yeah. Brad takes a week off. For what reason, I don't know. Nice. Alright. She's really put together. Solid. On the TV, uh, I see Tiger Woods flipped his car, he's in the hospital, any thoughts? Where did he flip it at, around here? No, I don't know. Probably LA. Stay off that 1.4, Tiger. <laughs> Leave it for men, kitten. <laughs> Is PJ Braun a passenger in your car, Tiger? Mm. I know you guys are friends. You guys are friends? No, no, go ahead. Good gym music, isn't it? What? Very motivating. <laughs> good music for an Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, dude. Who's Fitch? <laughs> Somebody look him up and send a picture of Fitch. <laughs> well, let's go buy it. Let's make them multimillionaires. DelrayMisfitsGear.com. They should have a picture of you in black and white outside Abercrombie. <laughs> good idea. We get a poster and put it in the front of the store. Yeah. There's a Celsius heat over there. Do you think she's packing any other type of heat? Which one? Behind us. Oh yeah, I wish she was. But she does a you look at close up, she needs a little tightening, but I'd like to scoop her up right now. You know what I like? I like getting on all fours and have a girl ride me like a horse. <laughs> like a horse. I had a girl do that to me in Pompano and it was like juice, I guess she orgasm all on my back while she was like you know she was like jumping up and down on my back and you know, rubbing herself and it was so gre ooey and gooey and greasy yeah just like pj's pockets the king of pocket bowl 
He has multiple <laughs> pockets. So when he goes to see Olympia and looks at the girls, yeah, yeah. his pockets end up ooey and gooey. Actually, his penis, he slides into one of the pockets so he can do a direct contact with his hands. Oh, I know the tricks. Did you ever do any public pocket pool? I have, not for a long time, not sad to say, but I was an expert. I've been in high school where you, if you could go in a classroom and sit in the back with some teachers didn't care, all the free girls would sit around me during the whole class. Everyone had their hands down my pants, three or four at once. It was great because I let them and they wanted to do it. Just like beneath the stairwell. Well, they took smoke. We actually took smoke under, behind the stairs. I would slash everybody and jerk off them. The freak girls, they call them. The ones who are into the metal with the long frizzy hair and the makeup. Yeah. Oh, great. The ones who look like Ozzy Osbourne? Unfortunately, yeah. Just like when my father at WrestleMania, they showed it at free in Pittsburgh because the pay-per-view didn't show up at the Civic Arena. So we were lucky enough to have it broadcast free. And when he saw Ozzy come out with the British Bulldogs against uh, Beefcake and Valentine, it was managed by luscious Johnny Valiant. He kept saying, will somebody please fall on that thing with the makeup? He wouldn't even, we're like, daddy, who is it? He didn't want to mention that scumbag's name. He had a pink suit on like DJ, but the long hair, and you could tell he was coked out of his mind. Running around the ring all coked up. Look it up, Maniacs, Google it. What should they Google? WrestleMania one, Ozzy Osbourne managed the British Bulldogs. And then when they won at the end, he gets to the ring, he goes, British Bulldogs forever. <laughs> he looked like a gnat. So Brad was a big attendee of OzFest. <laughs> Brad, you were too stoned to remember what happened. You probably played pocket pool with Ozzy and back, he let you backstage. Yeah, him and Ozzy make a great duo because once the bird's done shitting on Brad, Ozzy can <laughs> eat its head off. Yeah. <laughs> Brad's eating. Whoa, a little distraction. Holy shit. I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't get it. Major distraction. I want to get it right between the gooey and gooey. I want to see the juices flow. This gym's pretty decent for girls. Yeah. And it's even over. Oh, there's that TD Jake's looking PM who's doing this stack. I'd be able to do it. Comes up to me, tell me, sauce back at the old world gym at Delhi. I don't remember you, you TD Jake's wannabe. Where is he? What's TD Jake's? That preacher. There he is, right over there, with that bald head. Looks like T.D. Jakes. One of those scam creatures that have taken in 30 million a year, tax-free. How'd you like to do a sandwich between those two? <laughs> I'd like to see her pick her up and do a standing 69, which I'm really sure. She's a carpet muncher. A what? A carpet muncher. What's a carpet muncher? It's somebody that will remain nameless that eats a nice hairy carpet type thing. A carpet muncher. Come on, Jay. We were going to see at least a lot lizard in your lives. Are you allergic to females or what? <laughs> or are you a female, Jay? Show us your genitals next time on a live if you want to shock somebody. <laughs> TD Jake. <laughs> 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 